Hey guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm going to go over a tutorial today. It's a Photoshop and Cinema 4D tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a pretty cool background um, using these two uh, uh, programs. Um, it's a uh, background that I've seen around quite a bit. Um, I always thought it was pretty cool and so I started experimenting and playing around and I actually figured out how to do it pretty quickly. It's pretty simple. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. So let's go ahead and grab out a floor and then uh, I'm going to right click on the floor, simulation tags, collider body and then uh, let's go to here, grab out a sphere. I'm just going to make it smaller. Eh, 50 I guess, that'll work. And increase the segments to make it a little smoother. Um, go to, let's see, MoGraft cloner and then drag the sphere into the cloner and let's go to grid and uh, you can you can use however many spheres you want I'm just gonna leave it default and then uh, I'm gonna spread them out drag this up and then uh, right click on the cloner simulation tags rigid body now when you when you go and play this you can see it just gets stuck like this it doesn't do anything what you need to do is you need to go to um, individual elements all and now when we play it they'll come tumbling down which is what we want we want them, we want them to roll around and then uh, just pause it wherever you want so I'm just gonna go with this right here it's fine um, now we're gonna go to create new material and then uh, I'm going to turn off color and specular and just turn on the luminance. I'm going to go to gradient. We're going to, well, where the texture is, hit this little arrow here. And I'll drop this down, go to gradient. Now let's create a gradient. So we're going to make this black and then add in two more um, black markers. And then we're going to add in a white one here. And let's see if I can remember this correctly. We need a white one here white one here you know what um, I'm not sure that we need a white one in the middle actually so we'll go ahead and hit delete okay so let's drag these towards the center here like this and for now we're just trying to get a basic idea we'll touch it up more later um, Go ahead and drag this out into the cloner object and then let's play with these settings and see which one we like. Um, cylinder's pretty good. Sphere seems to look okay. Um, let's, let's go with linear for now. Um, as you can see, we don't want this faded look here, so go ahead and grab this and let's drag it back. And that gets rid of the fade. However, I would like there to be more black on the end, so we'll go ahead and drag this in. Um, that looks better. So let's go ahead and do a preview of it. It looks pretty good. I think we're going to go ahead and leave this for now. You can play with it more, get it just how you want it. Um, and as you can see, it looks kind of jagged on the edges, and there's not really not much going on. It just looks like some striped balls. So let's go into the. Um, let's go ahead and click this right here. We'll mess with the uh, settings. Um, turn anti-analyzing to best, and you can crank these up for even better quality. But um, when you turn that on, you can see it gets rid of those rough edges. And then the other thing we can do is we can go to global illumination and um, go to irradiance catch and um, turn these to low and preview. Um, when you go to actually render this out, you're going to want to um, crank these up higher but for now for the previews just turn them low so it renders quickly um, as you can see now we're starting to get some you know glowing on the floor and stuff um, you can turn glow on here this is optional you don't have to do this but it's one thing you can do go ahead and turn this down about two now go ahead and render it again gives it a little extra glow and then uh, now let's go to output and then um, change the width and height to your monitor. Uh, my monitor is 1920 
by 1080. So that would be our background. Um, it still looks kind of plain and boring. Um, you guys can do whatever you want. I mean, you change it to whatever you want. Play with the settings, get it looking how you want. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. That's what I usually um, save uh, images as. Save. And then we'll just go ahead and let this render out, which was very quick. All right, so now we um, opened our image up in Photoshop. Um, like I said, this doesn't look great because I'm just doing it quick. You guys can play with this and do all sorts of stuff. Um, just be creative, come up with what you want. Um, anyway, so to go ahead and create a new layer by hitting this button here. And then uh, we're going to take the gradient tool and uh, we're going to do this crazy rainbow gradient. And we're just going to drag it across like this. Of course, that's radial. You can use radial, but I'm going to use a linear gradient for this. And then we can set the... Now, there's multiple blending modes you can use. Um, one that works well is overlay. I think overlay is the ticket. So uh, anyway, guys, like I said, play with this. Um, like I said, when you go to render this out, mine, my quality is not that great. Um, normally, when I would render something out, um, I would set this to medium or high, both of these. And then I would come over to anti-aliasing and then uh, crank this up to like two by um, two by two by four by four or like four by four by four by four, um, something like that. Um, oh, another thing, um, you can come over here and turn this to um, IR plus QMC still image. That will also um, help with the quality. So um, yeah, just crank up the um, render uh, quality when you render it out so it can be you know good high quality image so it doesn't look bad when you uh, import it to Photoshop and start um, editing it. So uh, anyway guys, that's the tutorial. Um, I hope you like it. Play around, you know, and uh, I guarantee you'll get some good results. Anyway guys, I'm out of here. Peace.